Okay, we've got 13 minutes left. Let's do unit four. Answer the questions. Number one, listen to the conversation between a boy and his mom. I'm going to play soccer with my friends now. Don't forget to take your umbrella. It's not raining outside. I heard the weather broadcast on the radio, and there will be some rain in the late afternoon. You might come home before the rain, but keep it with you just in case. Okay, thanks, Mom. See you later. Ewan, why did the boy's mom tell him to take the umbrella? It's a C. Hmm. And Ben, why did the mom tell him to take his umbrella? B. There might be some rain later. There might be some rain in the late afternoon. Why must he take an umbrella now if it's raining tomorrow? Then he must take his umbrella tomorrow, And Ben, You won. It says there it's going to be rain in the late afternoon, so take your umbrella with. Why did the boy's mom tell him to take her? C. It's going to rain tomorrow. Uh, Ngok, what's the girl doing? Let's listen. Number two. Listen to the conversation between a brother and a sister. What are you doing, April? I'm doing a science experiment. In the kitchen? What is it? I'm going to see how a volcano erupts. Do you want to see it too? Okay. First, fill the soda bottle with warm water. Then add detergent, baking soda, and vinegar. What is the girl doing? A. Cooking in the kitchen. B. Doing an experiment. C. Looking for vinegar. Ngoc, what is a girl doing? It's me doing an experiment. A science experiment, yes. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Howard. This is Mrs. Blooming. Due to the heavy rain, our sports day has been postponed. Regular classes will be held tomorrow, so please be ready for all of your classes. It's very unfortunate since I know how hard you work to organize this event with others. I'm not sure about the new date for the sports day, but I will let you know as soon as I find out in the teachers' meeting. Why did Mrs. Blooming call? A. To remind Howard about the sports day. B. To inform Howard of tomorrow's schedule change. C. To tell Howard to attend the meeting. Okay, and Ben, why did the teacher phone? Why did Mrs. Blooming call? B. To inform Howard about a scheduled change. It's changing. Number two. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Mom. It's Patricia. I am stuck at the airport now. My plane has been delayed because of the snowstorm. And I when we are leaving, operators are telling us to wait, but nobody is telling us how long we have to stay here. I know it's not safe to fly until the snowstorm stops. But I have a feeling that I might not be able to get home by Christmas Eve. I will call you again soon. I miss you a lot, and I can't wait to see everybody. Why did Patricia call? You would? A. To tell her mom her flight number. B. To tell her mom about her delayed flight. C. To tell her mom what she wants for Christmas. Yes, C. Ngoc, what do you think? A, B, or C? I think it's B. Yes, it's a delayed flight. She didn't tell her mom that she wants for Christmas. She said, I will be late. 
on Christmas Eve. And she said, my, my plane is delayed. Part four. Listen and answer the questions. Listen to the story about Chris. What are you watching, Dad? Chris asked, sitting next to him on the couch. I'm watching the news about the city that is flooded because of the massive hurricane that struck it last week. It's very sad that about 2,000 people have already died, said his dad. Is there any way we can protect ourselves? asked Chris. There are some ways, such as building stronger houses, making a shelter, keeping a first aid kit and extra food for an emergency, and practicing some drills for evacuations. However, we cannot stop natural disasters, said his dad. Chris watched people crying on TV because they had lost their homes and did not have enough food and supplies. I feel sorry for them. Is there any way I can help? Okay. And Ben, what was the news about? B, a foot of the city due to a hurricane. It's a city due to a hurricane. Chris, our community center is collecting donated clothes, canned food, and supplies. Let's see what we can find in our house, said his dad. They got up and searched for some clothes that they didn't wear anymore. Chris also found some extra canned food on the shelf. Later that day, Chris and his dad had a box of things to donate. They put the box in the trunk and got in the car. I hope they get through this painful time soon, thought Chris. Okay. Ngok, uh, what did Chris do to help people who were suffering? Okay, you win. You win. Okay, he's also stuck. And Ben number two. C. He gave away some food. Okay. Mm. I gave away some food. Number one. What did he do? To two. What did Chris do? C. He gave away some food. Listen and answer the questions. Listen to the teacher giving a lesson about weather. Today we are going to learn about weather. We all know that our weather changes every day. It could be sunny today and it could be raining tomorrow. Our weather is made up of different things. Can you tell me what they are? Wind direction and temperature. Very good, but there is more. How about clouds and sunshine? They are also part of weather. We need to know not only the direction of the wind, but also its force. Weather includes precipitation, temperature, sunshine, visibility, and cloud conditions. What is precipitation? It is the amount of rain or snow that falls on the ground. I asked you to record last week's weather. Please. Okay. Uh, and Ben, what is not mentioned in the class? Hey. You and what is not mentioned in the class? She. Next week's weather, yes. They're not talking about next week's weather. They just spoke about last week's weather. What is the teacher telling the students to do? And Ben, you have to listen carefully. 
take notes, put away their notebooks, or get out their yeah, notebooks. No. It is the amount of rain or Listen. snow that falls on the ground. I asked you to record last week's weather. Please take out your notebook, and we'll talk about what our weather was like last week. Okay, please get out your notebooks, and we'll talk about what the weather was last week. And then number four. Hey. Mm -mm. Ngak number four. We see. Get out your notebooks. Then he said, we're going to talk about it. You win. What will the class do next? It's a uh, I. Talk about natural disasters. Talk about last week's weather or talk about the rain and the snow. It's a uh, I. I asked you to record last week's weather. Please take out your notebook and we'll talk about. Please take out your notebooks and we will talk about what our weather was like last week. What our weather was like last week. Try again. And Ben? Number three. B. Yes, you need to listen carefully. You can't just hear one thing and think and just carry on. You have to listen carefully. Okay, this is just, okay, this is reading. This is just listening for the test. We won't have enough time for the test. Okay, here. Come on, come on, turn the radio. Oh, it's Friday night, and I won't be long. Better do my to use his right arm. All the students to do. Day. Teacher. It is raining heavily outside. I'm afraid I have to cancel PE today. Let's take out a book and read instead. We will play soccer tomorrow. Ngok, what are they doing today? It's raining heavily today. Please take out your books and let's read. We will play soccer tomorrow. Is C. It is C, yes. Good job. Okay, sweeties, we will carry on with this test next time, okay? We're going to stop here. You all did a good job today. I'll see you next time. Bye, Ngok. Bye, Anben. Bye, Yuan.